Hey guys, welcome back. I recently did a closet clean out video where I went through my entire wardrobe and I decluttered more than half of the clothes in my closet. And while that doesn't mean I wanna to run to the stores to replace everything that I got rid of, I definitely wanted to incorporate more pieces over time, pieces that I love and enjoy wearing, things that make me feel beautiful and confident. I am definitely in a sort of experimental phase right now with my clothing, so bear with me, but I wanna do something that's a little bit more out of my comfort zone. I wanna play with color, I wanna play with different patterns, you know, kinda of elevate my style a little bit more, make it more mature. So I have some new clothing items, new accessories, some jewelry, all fun things, all things that I am loving at the moment. So I can't wait to share what's new in my wardrobe with you guys. But before we get started, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. It really helps my channel out a lot. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because I post new videos every single week. But with that being said, let's get started. So jumping right in, I want to start with the basics, the bottoms. The bottoms are always the basics for me because... I usually tend to not have that very many of them. So the first item that we have, I believe I got from Target and it's these really cute like linen um, shorts with the bow in the front. They're so freaking cute. They're like an orange brown. They bring a little pop of color to any outfit. You could definitely dress it up, dress it down. They actually had this same pair of shorts in white um, and I was gonna get it, but they're a little too see-through for my taste. Um, don't want... Don't want that. <laughs> when it comes to pants, I found that I am just obsessed when it comes to like linen pants like this. If you don't have any pants like these, you're doing it wrong because skinny jeans, they just don't do it for me anymore. Jeans in general, don't do it for me anymore. I don't wanna wear jeans anymore. <laughs> the only thing I ever wanna wear if I have to wear pants is these and these are so cute. I believe I got these from Target. It's just a basic black like jogger pant that cinches in at the waist and you can tie a little bow in front and it's so cute, a basic staple that I think everybody needs in their wardrobe. I actually have I think like two more pairs of pants like these that I got from Old Navy but they are not as cute as these. These are my go-to at the moment. So now moving on to shirts. This one's definitely a little bit interesting because it's totally out of my comfort zone. Something new for me uh, in terms of style and pattern. It's this deep plunge leopard print crop top that ties up in the front. This is definitely not something that I would wear like on a day-to-day -day basis. I imagine myself wearing this like on a night out with my friends, drinking at a bar or having dinner with them or something um, like a girl's night or if I were to ever go to a party again I would definitely wear this. Similarly to the last shirt this one is also out of my comfort zone because it is so tiny like I <laughs> this doesn't even look like a shirt I can't even I don't even know how to make it look like a shirt on the hanger. Honestly it takes me like 15 minutes to put on so I don't even know if I'm going to put it on for you today but this is the photo that I saw that made me want to buy it. I like instantly bought it because I was like you know what same thing got the goods step it up shake things up a bit make things a little spicy it's so different from anything else that i have in my closet at the moment and i would love more like green pieces i've been trying to find like some really pretty either like sage olive like any type of green honestly because i have hazel eyes so i feel like the green would really make my eyes pop out but i haven't been able to find anything except this which i love but you know like i said this isn't something that i'd wear <laughs> um daily but the search continues on the opposite end of the spectrum for the last two i just bought this really basic white crop top shirt it has these really nice like long length sleeves which i am a big fan of because i don't like my arms so i appreciate the long length sleeve but yeah nothing fancy nothing crazy about this one it's definitely just like a piece that i needed to have in my um wardrobe something that i could dress up dress down you know the drill so now moving on to like dresses slash rompers the first thing i have here is this like really dreamy long flowy um sundress that comes off the shoulders it's so pretty and dainty and it honestly makes me feel like a princess when i'm wearing it can't really describe it to you i can't really describe how it makes me feel either but when i'm wearing it like i just i feel really really pretty 
Um, and I think that that says a lot. This next one could possibly be my favorite. It's this super pretty off the shoulder jumper. It's beige and it's covered in little flower details. The sleeves are puffy. It's just dreamy. It fits like a glove. The material is also super soft too. And it's stretchy. It's comfortable. It doesn't like, you know, it's nice fabric. It doesn't itch or anything. It's beautiful. And last but not least, another one of my personal favorites. It's this dark blue polka dot flowy dress that is also pretty deep plunge. I showed this in my affordable glow up video. At the end, I was wearing this and I felt so beautiful in it. My boyfriend actually walked in um, after I finished filming the video and he was just like staring at me. He was like, you look so pretty. And I was like, I feel so pretty. <laughs> and it was like a really sweet moment. Um, so needless to say, I love this dress so much. Um, I think it's very flattering. I think it's very girly. I also mentioned in that video that I rarely wear um, dresses anymore. So finding a dress that fits me perfectly that I feel so confident in is a very nice feeling it's like a foreign feeling to me because i don't really wear dresses anymore and uh i hit the lottery with this one so this isn't really something i would keep in my closet this is more of loungewear pajamas type of thing i picked up this really cute cozy like knitted set from amazon it is just so cute. I find myself wearing pajamas and like yoga pants, loungewear throughout the day because I don't really go anywhere. I work from home so like I don't really leave my house is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so like if there's a way that I could feel comfortable while wearing loungewear and still look cute, it's definitely this. Also a little bit off topic, this is not clothing, but um, I did buy new shoes. I bought these combat boots from Target. I haven't even took them out of the packaging yet, but they're super like sturdy, comfortable, good quality. I mean, they're not like Doc Martens or anything, but they get the job done. I think I had combat boots in high school and I remember really loving them. So I'm excited to wear those in the fall, definitely. Ugh iconic combat boots in the fall there's just something different about it you know moving on to accessories one of my favorite things that i purchased is this beautiful mint green crossbody it has this beautiful detail in the front i already moved like all my stuff into here so so cute <laughs> the next thing that i got i was like in need of some new sunglasses because i have these really cute sunglasses that i bought um off amazon i think that are like these cat eye glasses but i feel like those are not every day like i feel like those are like a statement piece and they're not something that i would really wear every day or at least that i would want to so i just bought these like basic um sunnies i think i got them from like TJ Maxx or something. <laughs> Nothing special at all, but I think they're really pretty. I don't know why I've always just liked this kind of like style of glasses. They're just white with a gold detail trimming on the side and I really like them. Another thing that I've been loving is my friend Tanya's jewelry collection. This is her jewelry company that she runs off of Instagram. I've known her since we were like in middle school together and her jewelry is amazing. I'm actually wearing one of her necklaces as we speak. But this one is so fun and so like summery slash spring. I think it's so cute and the colors are beautiful. So seriously, shout out to her. So if you're looking for some new jewelry to buy that's handcrafted, um, definitely check her out. I'll leave her in the description box down below, but I'm loving these. And the last accessory that I have is something that I've been wanting for a while. It's this silk like pastel colored scarf and i've been wanting one of these because you can do so many things with a scarf you can easily turn it into a headband or a head scarf you can also use it for days when you're doing like an updo or a ponytail you can just wrap this around your ponytail tie it together and it kind of like acts as like a ribbon if you were a smaller more petite girl you could totally get away with making this into like a makeshift tube top i've seen girls on like tiktok do it and it's like very impressive actually <laughs> um the sorcery that they do i i don't understand it but if you were small enough yes you could turn this into a top and it would be so cute the possibilities with a silk scarf are endless and i've 
been obsessed with this ever since I got it. My favorite way to wear it is either like a headband or um, in my ponytail. Definitely not a necessity, but honestly, it makes me feel really like dainty and like cottagecore-esque and I don't know. I love it. So that is everything that is new in my wardrobe at the moment from clothes to shoes to jewelry to accessories. I know that it's not a lot. This is just from the amount of things that I've collected since my closet cleanup video, which was a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I definitely plan on slowly incorporating more things as I find them. I'm not gonna like go searching for new clothes at the moment, but if I do find something along the way that speaks to me or that I like, you know, I'll buy it. But I'm definitely trying to be like more conscious of the things that I buy and if they really make me happy, if they really fit well, things like that. But yeah, it's really nice to see my wardrobe expanding in all aspects. Um, so I can't wait to come back to you with another one of these videos if you guys want it. This is probably like the second try on haul that I've done on my channel. So it's not something that I do often. So let me know if you like it in the comments down below. I will definitely do more in the future. But that's gonna be all for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And as always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.